Hello everybody, it's Tiffany, Dragonflyer Studio here. Happy Saturday. Well, at least it's Saturday for me. Don't know what day you'll be watching this, but um, I hope you're having a happy day anyway. So I am continuing on with the building of my Catching Fire journal, uh, junk journal. And so last time we made these wonderful stacked pockets, I do have them all glued into place now. Uh, there's all three of them. Uh, if you watch the previous video to this one, uh, I show you how to how I made those and, and what went into to making them. And I did just decide to glue them all down rather than creating a tall pocket in the back. I was afraid it might add a little too much bulk um, to the overall journal itself. So what I'm making today, and um, I'm focusing on this journal mostly, is trying to use reusable items. Now, that being said, there will be some things that, you know, you just you just can't do unless you use uh, new and or found. Uh, a lot of my stuff comes from yard sales, estate sales, and what have you. Um, so what I'm creating today is a, a little bit of a pocket companion to this guy. Um, I usually start off my journals with a bunch of pockets because I personally, I make my journals for writing in um, and or drawing. Sometimes I will just take um, a journal that I have and I will, I'll just start doodling on the pages because I'm a bit of an artist um, like that. But this guy will be for sale eventually. So I usually make them for writing in. Now with wide open spaces for writing, the the limit the the pot the potential is limitless sorry tripping over my words um even though i intended for writing this could be drawn on you could glue postcards in here you could put pictures in here recipes uh movie tickets whatever whatever have you uh whatever the user wants to use their journal for is is fine by me there are no limits so i usually start off as a as a rule, so to speak, um, of adding extra storage to these guys because, you know, why not? So what we're going to do today is we are reusing wonderful junk mail. Everybody gets these things um, from time to time. Apparently Credit One has mailed me something at least three times because I found the same envelope in my stash um, several different times. Yeah, they all came from Vegas. So um, anyway, I've already decorated one up. This is kind of our uh, prototype, if you will. So it opens up here, just your normal natural envelope. And then I've just gone in with some scratch, of, scratch pieces of paper and some text block and stuff and just kind of fancied it up, made it a, made it a little more pretty. Try and get in the frame there if everybody can, can see that. This is a, a jelly print that I made using some um, bubble wrap. So yeah, and then an old text page there, and then just a little scrap piece of paper on the inside, and there you have it. And this this right out here, it, this was naturally lined. It's a I don't know a piece of paper somebody sent me somewhere. Um, so this was either notebook paper that they printed on, or I don't know, but I found it in my scrap heap, and so I thought, oh well, that's pretty. So somebody could journal on the outside of this if they so chose. Um, okay, so let's get to it. I've got several different pieces of paper off over here out of frame um, that I'm going to be pulling from that I just kind of thought would be, um, well, this just would look pretty. So, you know, why not go with that? So ultimately what this guy will become is a little notebook of sorts of three little pockets. So you'll have this pocket, you'll have this pocket, and you'll have this pocket. Um, and then I'll show you how to bind them all together uh, when we're done. It's super simple. I just use washi tape. I, it, there's no sewing or anything like that uh, needed. Uh, so what I did before I started the video was I made a little template of my window here. I have a light board that I use for this purpose. Uh, I just stick my envelope on the light board and then trace it onto paper and then just cut out um, a little template just so I have the, the shape of the window. If you choose to do that in one form or fashion, make sure you make your template a little smaller than your window. If you can see, I'll hold it up here. If you can see, it fits perfectly down in there. Um, so that way when you cut out the hole of the paper that you use, um, unless you want a white frame, it will hide all of the white part of the envelope. Um, so that's, uh, that's, what, that's where that came from. So I've got this piece of paper. I made this today. I was working with some stencils and um, some, some inks and stuff. Um, and this is just the the negative space from that stencil and I thought it turned out really pretty. I spritzed it with some alcohol ink. That's why it kind of looks like it has. I don't know if those translate well on camera. 
kind of looks like it has some little, some little shadows to it. Can you tell on the paper? Anyway, I spritzed it with some black alcohol ink after it was all dry. And uh, I just really like the way that it came out. So I'm going to try and see if I can't use that on most of the front of this envelope here. So what I'm going to do with my template, um, I don't really... I don't really measure here and here. What I do is I use my little uh, my little template pattern, whatever you want to call it. Um, just kind of, I'm going to be right about there. All I do is I make sure that it is straight. I just come in with my ruler. I'm going to line it up on the edge of that page. And then I'm going to bring my template down. And I'm just going to line it up straight with the ruler. I remove the ruler. And then I just come in with my... Oh, wait, nope. Nope, nope, doing that wrong. I, I, color, I, use, I do it on the back side. That way, should I mess up, my pencil marks aren't showing on the front. That's just a me thing. It's a junk journal. If you put your pencil marks on the other side, you know, part of that might be the decoration. However, for me, um, drives me bananas. So, this is how I do it. And it keeps all the bananas from, from, from taking over the wheel. <laughs> uh, goodness. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I know I am. Went to the water park last night with my kiddo for several, several hours. Got up this morning remembering that I'm no longer a kid. <laughs> funny how your body reminds you of that but we had fun he had fun and that was all that matters okay so now to start this guy off I'm just gonna take my exacto knife and just run it down this line along the edge freehand go me nice and straight all right and then I'm just gonna come back with my scissors and cut this out as best I can this is a little go slow, slow going, go slowing. This is a little go slowing. That's what we're calling that. This is the go slowing method of crafting. Hope I'm doing better staying in frame this time. I didn't realize it, but my little pocket making video, apparently I was out of frame for a good portion of it. Um, thank you to those who watched it and let me know about it. I don't always re-watch all my videos before I post it. Um, I do check and make sure that it recorded, because I did post, I posted one that for some reason, I don't know, my camera ran out of storage space or what, but it recorded all of like three minutes of a 30 minute video. And, um... Oh, well, that's pretty in and of itself. I might keep that and use it for something else. Who knows? So then we flip this over, and that's what we have. So we're just going to come back here with our envelope and make sure that that's going to fit where it's supposed to. And it's okay for me if I've got some of the white envelope showing. I, that doesn't bother me at all. These do have the little plastic protective pockets in it, so that's not a big deal. So now I have this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my, I will go off camera for this. I don't know how much of this you can see. I don't think any. Um, I just have my, here, if y'all want to see. I don't mind to show you. You've probably seen me do this about 100 times now. This is my glue book. It's just a, a chunk of dictionary um, that I saved. And I use it for pretty much this purpose and this purpose alone. Um, I use it so that I can glue with reckless abandon and not get glue all over my primary work surface. Best idea I ever saw, came up with, heard of, witnessed, I don't know. I don't know what, what started me down that path, but I genuinely love my glue book. Um, I have ruined, have ruined several of these Fiskars mats in the past with layer upon layer of glue. All right, so there we have that. It's all attached. So now I'm just going to come back with my ruler and we're just going to trim this off. You could rip this, give yourself a nice raw edge. 
Um, I'm choosing not to. I'm using my X-Acto knife to trim it down. So, you know, whatever, whatever suits you, whatever fancies you. If you are using an X-Acto knife, be careful along the edges of your envelope that you don't accidentally slice slice open the seam, the natural seam that's there. That's the great thing about reusing junk journals or junk mail, reusing junk journals, reusing junk mail. Um, these envelopes are just uh, pre-made pockets for us. And you don't have to cover the whole surface of the envelope with paper. If you wanna leave part of that open and white uh, you could totally do that. You know, the options are, the options are there. You could, you could draw on the, the cover of them. Um, you could put whatever you wanted to. So, there's that beautiful, beautiful thing now. So we took it from, from that to that. Not too shabby. I actually, I really, really like how that turned out. So now, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide the blue privacy coating that they put. Oh, look, see? See what happened? I got too close with my X-Acto knife. That's what I was talking about. I sliced open my envelope. Did I do it over here, too? Nope. I did do it there, though. So I'll have to... That, it, that will be fine on that edge. That will be fine, because that's where my binding is going to go. So it, it really won't matter, but that's what I was talking about, if you can see that hole that I created by trimming it with my X-Acto knife. So it happens, but you know what? It's just paper. Just paper. I just add a little glue to the ends of the, the flaps. When I get junk mail like this that I know I'm going to save, uh, I open it with a pair of scissors and I trim off just the top part of the letter um, so that I know that I can can come back and make it pretty, pretty. All right. I feel bad. I sliced him open. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I found this little piece of... I don't know if it's photo paper or what. Somebody sent this to me in some happy mail. So anyway, I just thought that that would look really pretty underneath there as a backdrop. Like, so peeking through, I say peeking through, come on. Peeking through that little window, that wood grain, like right about, say there. Yeah, I like that a lot. So I'm just gonna come over here. I just eyeballed this. I'm just gonna come over here and just trim this down. And there's just a little bit of a tricky part. Give me a second. Let me add some glue. There's a just a little tricky part of getting these pieces in there um, once the glue is added. What I do is I push it up to this window and position it where I want it. And then I mush it down flat and it glues it to the other side. And yes, you'll get glue on your fingers, but eh. That's why we're washable. And then there you have that. So you've got your little piece of paper in there and it just creates a nice little peekaboo effect. Um, like so. All right, I think it may be something down here. Ooh, what if we added a little outside pocket for like a little tag? We could do that. Yes, let's do that. What if we got, oh, I think I need another text page. Hold on just a second. Give me a minute, give me a minute. We will use chapter 21. I don't know what book this is from, but we're using it. So, I think it would be most advantageous. That's a big word. Um, <laughs> I like making pockets out of text pages. They're they're nice. They're usually pre-cut. Um, all you gotta do is trim them down to where you want them. And this is usually how I trim them. I just start ripping off the margins. I suppose you could keep the margins if you really wanted to, but I don't want to. I don't want to, and this is my book, and you can't make me. No. Um. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is what happens when people start talking to themselves on camera. I uh, feel like there should be a reality show for crafters. There probably is, and I just don't know it because I don't watch a whole lot of TV, unfortunately. All right, so right about... We're gonna go right below the word rows, and that's where our pocket's gonna start. Half the time I don't measure a lot of what I do. I just make sure that whatever it is that I'm measuring is gonna fit, so. So there we go, and I'm just gonna put some glue around here, but before I do that, I'm gonna come in here and kinda dolly up the edges. 
dolly up the edges? I don't even know. You know what they should create? They should create a crafting show where people craft and drink. Just saying. It could be a whole lot of fun. Can you imagine the things that would come out of there? Okay, I'm going to give this a little uh, faux kind of thumb hole treatment here. Because whatever, I have a feeling whatever I put in here is going to be pretty small and might potentially get stuck. And you need a way to access that. Okay. There we go. I know I did most of that off camera, but there you go. It's just, it's just my little dauber. Just me doing that. And that's the effect that you get. Kind of get those aged, worn, worn out edges. So yeah, what do we think of that? I like that. That's really pretty. So I'm just, nope, nope, not glue stick. Not for a pocket. So I'm just going to grab some silicone glue. And I'm just going to put a little bead. I'm just trying to center this as best I can. Keep it as straight as possible. If you want to glue it on there crooked and crooked and not straight is your thing, then I say go for it. No judgment here. Okay. So I think what do we think? I think that side's pretty much done. I might come back and do some embellishments later. I don't really know yet. But I think I kind of like that side. So now we need to figure out if we're going to do anything on this side of it. So my plan is to have this as kind of the, the front page of my pocketbook. So it'll open this way, and then this will be the middle section, and then that'll be the back section. So I really kind of like what we've got going on here. <laughs> so if we flip this over, what shall we do? We do have the other piece of this paper that we could we could just go with. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. How about we do that? Just glue it on and trim it down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, gonna go off camera. Just adding glue to the back of the envelope. Um, I just always make sure that my glue goes all the way to the edges anytime I'm covering a surface. Okay, so there's that. And then I think... I think I want to use this edge, so I'm going to turn this around towards me and turn this around, scooch that out the way. Can you all see what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah. go. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to come back with my scissors rather than my exacto knife because what I don't want to do is make any more holes in my poor envelope. <laughs> and I might still, you never know. Or something huh that not so much this not so much but that's got a cool funky pattern on it you know don't throw anything away maybe we'll put it on that other the other envelope coming so all right so we have that and we have ooh, look at that beautiful I really like the way that turned out just messing around with some stencils today and that's what you get okay so what if we came in with ooh, look this is a cupcake a beautiful cupcake wrapper wrapper that somebody either saved for me or gave me or I found at a found at a party I went to. I kind of like that, but I really don't want to cover up that design. I think I really might just leave it. What if we came in here with something like that? 
And then maybe something. Yep, see, I've done that. I've done that time and time again. I'll start decorating something and realize it's upside down. Not always what you want to go with. What if we just give that a little bit of a, a little bit of something? I'm not going to make that a pocket. I just want to give it a little, I don't know, little layers, little visual interest. I am just coming around here. Hope I'm in camera frame. Sometimes it's hard to tell. How are we doing? Oh yeah, we're doing great. Okay, so this will be here. And then I like that. It almost reminds me of a like a mermaid's tail or or something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna add glue to my little bits here that I've decided to embellish with. You know what? I've got something. Hold on just a second. Where did it, where did it go? I had I had a piece in here. But I thought, ooh, maybe I could use that on something. And I think it would look really pretty. There it is. I've got a doily. Or at least a piece of a doily. That if we this is what I this is what I also use this glue book for. So I've got this little doily here, right? I don't glue it accidentally glue it down to the page. blue book. Don't be, don't be, don't be obstinate. I like that. Okay. I'm not going to put the glue on the doily because as y'all know, doilies are pretty delicate and that glue stick will just shred it. And that's just, uh, that's just a learning experience. <laughs> it happens, unfortunately. All right, I'm just putting glue on the little pieces. I'm gonna run this right up from here into that doily. There we go. I like that. Okay, there we go. There's that envelope. And then I always do this just in case I got glue somewhere on the inside of this seam. I accidentally glued a, an envelope shut once. Um, I just come back and make sure that it'll open all on its own once everything's glued down so that I don't set it aside and then the glue gets permanently dried and I can't rip through it without potentially ruining the envelope. So now here we have one pocket and two pockets. Very pretty. I may do something around these windows. I'm not sure as of yet, but You'll be here if I do. Okay, so now we have the third pocket. So we kind of have a little bit of a pink and brown theme, which I told you um, in previous um, videos with this Catching Fire, since it is a red book, um, most of my items will have something to do with the color red. I don't normally work with the color red. Um, it's a little bit... Uh, I don't want to say foreign to me, but it's just it's just not a color that I'm drawn to per se. Okay, so I think this is actually a really good idea. I love that red strip that we got going on there. So what if we bring this down? Hmm, I kind of like that. So now getting. getting that window on just right 
will be a little more tricky, but not impossible. So all we're going to do is we're going to flip this over, get out our template, and here's here's how I here's how I remember what direction I'm working. If I'm going to take this from here, which is the way I want to glue it on, and I flip it over this way, I'm then going to take whatever embellishment, or in this case, template, pick it up and flip it over the same way. Okay, and then I probably want my paper to be right about there somewhere. So then what I can do is come in with my ruler. This is, gets a little technical, but you can do it. I've got faith in you. So we're about an inch and I don't know, a quarter, an inch and an eighth. This ruler is really weird. I hate using the measurements on it. Uh, da -da -da. Just use the big one. How about that? So yeah, an inch and a sixteenth. So one and sixteenth inches. So to me, that's a little technical. I really want this to be kind of not haphazard, but I want it to be a little less rigid than getting the exact measurements down. I created the template just because this has got a weird little wonky curve that I kind of wanted to keep for visual interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball this thing. And if I have to cover top part of the envelope, bottom part of the envelope, whatever have you, um, because it's not quite perfect, well, that's the name of the game. It's called junk journaling for a reason. And you know what? It's just paper. It will all be okay. So I'm just going to draw around my template real quick. Okay. And then same thing here. Just going to come down my line. And then we're gonna we're gonna slow go it right because that's what we do now we slow go crafting how we do it on time oh 30 minutes we're not doing too bad try not to make super long videos just because I know you'd rather be crafting than probably watching me But I don't want to go so fast that I skip over parts or confuse you more than maybe you already are if you're a beginner at all this. And if you're a beginner, welcome. Welcome to the world of junk journaling. It's super fun. And remember, it's just paper. If you're a returning watcher, thanks for being here, guys. I'm up to almost 700 subscribers on my little channel here. I'm so happy with that. Um, I told somebody the other day that I had 700, 700 subscribers and they looked at me like big whoop. Uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, for somebody who never expected to be doing this at all, uh, I'm super happy that everybody's here and watching me and hopefully having a good time. Okay, so yes, I've got a little white stripe th at the top of the envelope. Not going to worry about that. What's important is I got my window cut out. So I'm just going to take this over here to my glue book and put some glue on my envelope. Be right back feel like I should be playing the, what is it, Muzak, while you guys wait for me to come back on screen. <laughs> Although that probably drives some of you up the wall. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I uh, want to see more of my content. I do put out mo movies. I do put out videos on Wednesdays. Woo, 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 woo. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. The current series that I'm building is this Catching Fire junk journal that I have made from a reclaimed used book. Found it at a yard sale. And this journal is mostly working on what you can use either around the house or um, you know, get your get your friends and family involved in it. I've got some friends that save pop tabs for me. I've got friends that save these junk journal envelopes. 
Um, I've got friends who um, are on the lookout for fancy, pretty paper napkins for me. Um, and it's hilarious because they themselves don't junk journal, but let me tell you, when they find something for me or that they think that I'll like, the joy and excitement in the phone calls, they're like, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe what I found for you. Uh, <laughs> it's almost as if um, they're part of the junk journaling process. So um, it's really fun. My, my friends are great um, and they don't mind um, saving cereal boxes or cracker boxes or junk mail. Um, you, they kind of have like a shoe box that they just put stuff in for Tiffany. Um, and then uh, when it gets full, they holler at me and I'll go over and pick it up and it's it's great it's fabulous uh, why not get your friends involved <laughs> okay so let's see do we have any more let's see if I can find our pretty piece of paper for my for my window cover these are just some little scraps that I save da, 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 da. Oh, are you long enough you'd be pretty oh not quite long enough but might be useful might be usable for something. You never know. Ooh, that's pretty. And some really good contrast, huh, to that. What do we think? If we put that in there? That actually kind of looks like the privacy envelope that you might get from a bank or something. Let's not do that. Uh, <laughs> not what I'm going for. Ooh, but this. That's pretty. Yeah. What about that? Sorry guys, thinking out loud here. Yep, I like that a lot. I like it, I like it. Okay, so we're just gonna cut off the bottom portion of this. Save that for something else. Okay, just gonna go back over here, put some glue, be right back. Again, just gonna come in here. Nope, I want it facing this way. Just gonna come in here. I use the window for placement. And then just smush it down flat. There we go. Make sure nothing's glued together on the inside. And this is usually the point where I realize that these little flaps need doctored. So I'll go in and give them a little, little zippy zap with the glue stick. But yeah, like I was saying, if you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content, my videos come out Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I do do bonus content from that from, from time to time. You'll see a, a new video pop up on a Tuesday um, or pretty much any other day of the week. But I try very hard to get videos out three times a week. Um, if you want to continue to see those, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a share, um, send me on to somebody who who might need a little assistance um, in the junk journaling endeavors. And um, there's lots of lots of content, lots of how to's. I really like that idea of putting that strip there. Yep, yep. So I'm just gonna put glue all the down all the way down that thing. Um, and for those of you that are returning, thank you so much for being here. I've had a lot of fun getting to know you guys. If you leave me a comment, I answer all of my comments. If I'm if I'm doing something and you think I could do it easier, please, oh please, tell me how. I've been paper crafting for 20 plus years and learning new stuff and new techniques, especially how to do things easier, quicker, um, less effort. You know, the more time, the more time I have making stuff, the better. All right. So there we have that, that gorgeous creation. What do we think? Could we put this somewhere on here? I really like that pattern. Ooh, look at that. I didn't know that was double-sided. Hmm. Okay, brain's working. Brain's doing something anyway. I really like that butterfly. Okay, I need bone folder. It's a lot of things. That's cardstock that I'm trying to fold there. So this is just a bone folder. I'm just gonna give that a good crease. I really like that that dual pattern going on there. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a that's a that's a, yeah. Super cute. 
I bet I could even make a little pocket out of it. Let's see, if I wanted to pocket it, I glue this side, but here and here. Let's see. If I were a piece of paper, if I were a piece of paper, if I were a piece of paper, where would I be? Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm rambling. Oh, it would be a cute pocket like that. Hmm. Maybe I don't make it a pocket. Maybe I just use it as an embellishment. Yep, I think that's what we're going for. Okay, so just gonna glue these two together. Tra la 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 la. Somebody saw my fingers the other day and was like, oh, do you work on cars? Are you a mechanic? I went, nope, crafter. <laughs> the look on their face was like, what? I promise I wash my hands, but sometimes I forget and I'll, you know, I get up from crafting and I'll need to go run an errand or something. And the next thing I know, I'm looking down on my hands going, oh, geez, Tiffany, people are going to think you're doing horrible, horrible things with your hands. Uh, but such is the life of artists, right? Okay. I really like that. It's a little visual interest for the bottom of that. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, so there we have the front. I think I'm going to call that done. We have the front of that envelope. Can everybody see? Pretty, 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 pretty little butterfly that was found on the other side of that brown pattern paper. Yeah. Okay, so now, what are we going to do on the back side of this? What if we turn it into a makeshift journaling space? with this. This is that paper. I think somebody printed it off and sent it to me. I don't normally use printables, but, um, you know, I get happy mail all the time. People send me stuff. So, um, you know, if you, if, if you send it to me, I will do my best to use it. I'm, I'm not one to, to look a gift horse in the mouth, so to speak. Um, and do we want to do, do it that way or do we want to put it this way? I think I want to do the lines that way. Yes. Although if I use it this way, I get to keep the flowers on there. I think I want to use the flowers. So yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in here and kind of this, this page is a little ripped, but eh, I'm not going to let that bother me. We'll keep the rip. Maybe we won't because it is a little too wide for the page. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to glue that down like Go to the bottom, go to the top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. What do we want to add? I think that's a lovely, lovely paper. Got a little, little scrap piece of it. We could do something like that. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, we've got the wood veneer with that lacy. I don't know if you guys can see the lacy print that's behind the lines of that paper, but it's really pretty. It's got a little floral piece on it, and if you're watching this and you're the person who sent that to me, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry that I don't remember. I'm sorry I don't remember who you are, but I am very grateful for your gift. I'm just putting glue on my envelope. Nothing fancy. All right, so now I'm just going to come back in to the top of this. And just smoosh that down nice and flat. Keep in mind when you're building pocket envelopes like this, every piece of paper that you layer on an envelope is going to add that much more thickness to your journal. Um, if you've made journals in the past, you know that they can get pretty chunky pretty quick but that's part of the fun. Okay, just trimming off the edges. Uh oh, 
kind of feel like I'm cutting into the envelope on that edge right there. I think I just did a no-no. Yep, I created a little bit of a hole right there. See it? That's okay. That's fixable. That is fixable. Just paper. Okay, no more holes. Nope, just that one. All right, so there. So now we have that on the back. That's a beautiful, beautiful journaling space for someone to use. Let's see. I think if we come in here with some shears, we could give this a little more visual interest rather than just straight line, straight line, straight line. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see it or not on camera. Let's see. Give you some contrast. See how I just curved that edge out with those scissors? You really can't see it because of the wood grain, I think. Maybe you can't. Oh, there. Maybe you can now. Can you see that? Yeah, see the detail that's on it. Just give it a little something different than a, a straight on or a straight edge. I don't want to cover up the flowers because that was the whole point of gluing the paper on the way that I did was to not cover up the flowers. All right, gonna give this some glue, try to get out to the edges as much as I can without getting glue all over my cutting mat. Let's go right up to the edge there, glue it down there, press it on, and then trim it off. There we go. Okay. So there we have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to age this one. And you'll see how much it changes the whole look of your item. And you don't have to do the distressing ink. It's, it's a favorite of mine. Um, I like to make the things look grungy and kind of oldy, vintagey, worn kind of look. Um, you don't have to. It's your junk journal. You you make your stuff look however you want it to look, by all means. I've seen some very... I saw a primary color journal the other day. All they did was use red, blues, yellows, and greens. And I'll be darned if that thing didn't pop because of all the vibrant colors. They didn't age anything. I really, really liked the look of that. So that might be something that I try at a future date. But for the look of this one, this is what I'm doing. Most of my journals are have this aged look about them. So there you have it. We open it, check it, make sure we didn't glue it down. So there you have it. So we've got page one, sorry, pocket one, pocket two with a little tag holder here, pocket three with writing space on the back. Now I'm going to show you real quick. If you have washi tape, you have the ability to make simple pocket journals from junk mail. Uh oh, silicone glue almost dried shut on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach over here in my washi tape storage and, oh, look, I found some, some old butterfly. I say old, it's, it's not old tape. It's meant to be, it's meant to look old. Okay. So all you want to do is make sure that you're not taping shut your envelopes. So you want to make sure all their open edges are together. Okay. And then what I do is make sure that they're flush on all sides the mo the the main side that you want to be flush is what would what will become their spine and then I just hold it together oops I come in with a gator clip I clip this and then I'll come in with a couple of paper clips and I'll just paper clip the top and the bottom just to make sure just like when if you're building a signature which is kind of what this is. Um, you don't want your you don't want your things shuffling or shifting around while you're trying to bind them together. So then you're just gonna pull out your washi tape a little bit longer than what you need, so it goes all the way to the edges. Um, and then try and find if it's see through, it makes it a little easier. You just try and find about the halfway mark. I push it down here, and then I use the weight of the the envelopes to go up and over. Nope, and that did not do what I wanted it to do. Okay, so we're gonna have to, gonna have to pull it. I pull it up and over, 
and then work your way out. Okay. And no, it's not straight, but that's okay. I, this, this part doesn't bother me if it's not straight. I like the, the misshapen part of it. So what I do is I come in with my bone folder and I run up and down the back side of it because what you want is the washi tape to take on the thickness of all three envelopes. You don't want a, you don't want a this kind of a crease where it's just folded in half. You want a, see if I can do it with paper and give you a kind of a visual example. You want something that's going to resemble that kind of a crease so that all three envelopes have the ability to open. If you have a single fold crease, um, your journal is going to tear itself apart. Your, your envelopes are going to tear themselves apart when you go to open this up. Okay, so now what I do is working from the front to the back is I separate one envelope. I come in here and that these steps seem may seem a little unnecessary but I'm telling you I've, I created several of these and the poor envelopes the thickness of them with just the washi tape for binding um, it ripped it ripped them all my all my efforts apart so what you want to do is either unstick this little tab or what I'm about to do just cut it off you want to cut that off before you open up your book so now back to our clip together like so on either side and you're gonna gin gingerly open this up and that's what you want to see I don't can it, I don't know if it translates well here let's see if I can move it up to the camera so when you open it up what you want to see is a gap between your first envelope and your second envelope that is allowing for the thickness of the fold to do this so you're just gonna lay it down and then I turn mine sideways because I work better doing tape across this way and then same thing as you did on the outside grab your washi tape lay it across where you need it to go smooth it out and then bend this one back this way and give it a really good smush down what that's doing is it's allowing the tape to adhere to the two envelopes on the inside and also into that seam the gap that you saw between your two envelopes it took me a little while to figure out how to do this. Nobody, of all the envelopes that I've watched be made, nobody ever, I don't know that if they paid attention to it or what, but nobody ever pointed that out. So now you should be able to open and close that pretty well and they'll lay flat. Otherwise you'll have a, a journal that will do this. You'll have pockets that will do this to you. Um, they won't lay down flat on your, your tabletop. So now same thing here. We're going to unclip these two and then we're going to clip the first and the middle one together. And then same thing here. Ah, tape on my finger. Great. I'm Sylvester the cat with or goofy with a rubber band. Okay. Again, just going to lay that down and here you have it. You've got that same gap in between your envelope. Okay. I'm going to rotate this washi tape out. I just try to center it. You know, you don't want your tape doing this. Um, but you know, if you got more on one side than you do on the other, meh. Okay, smooth it down. Fold it over. Mush. Mush, 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 mush. Okay. And then come back and clip these off. Okay, now you should be able to unclip all three envelopes and you've got a wonderful reinforced spine with washi tape on all your envelopes, giving them a little extra smush, not going to hurt it. It lays nice and flat, it opens and closes nice and flat, and you have, you know, if you had created journaling pages in here that you plan to write on, and these could still be written on, but if they were lined, like if specifically like created a pocket notebook, um, you want this to lay flat. You don't want it. You don't want to stress the tape out by forcing it flat. So there you have it. Those little gaps, um, pin, pinning and clipping it just that way, uh, is a great way.
to get a pocket envelope. And then if these little tabs here stick sticking out, they don't bother me. But if they bother you, you can just come back and and just kind of trim them off so that they're so that they're flat even with the book or the envelopes. I call it a book. It is a book. It's a pocket book. See, pocket book. Get it? Pocket book. So yeah, there you have it. There's a three pocket. Uh, companion for you um, that you can you know put notebook paper into for writing or postcards uh, photographs you know again whatever you want and so what we'll do is this little guy will just come in here to one of these pages we'll eh, we'll use this one right here because it's it flopped open so what I'll do is I'll end up creating beautiful beautiful decorated paper clips but for right now we're just going to use this guy and he just clips in there like that so that you don't lose him and there you have it did add a little bit of thickness to the journal but that's okay that's why I create these guys first so I kind of know how gator mouth my journal is going to be but there you have it that's how you create a little pocket companion um, for extra storage um, or just decoration however however you want to use it is totally up to you but there you go so yeah um, like I said, want to see more of me, hit that, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'm just glad you're here watching this video with me. Uh, this is Tiffany from Dragonfly Studio. Until next time, bye.